Non più dry farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amore, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amore. Quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'aria brillante, quel vermiglio d'onesco color, quel vermiglio d'onesco color. Very excited, very yeah, very proud excited. to be here and see all the cyclists out and such a great atmosphere. And a huge turnout, biggest ever, I think, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. And the weather is good, so we're really excited. The 20th year, and it's hard to believe that it's it's uh, it's been that long, and it's hard to believe how the ride keeps going with such the same spirit. So we're looking forward to the food stops. We're looking forward to meeting all the people along the way and seeing old friends and meeting some new ones. <laughs> I'm riding four fours because it's my charity, but also my um, one of my sons has had cancer. He's in remission at the moment. His name is on the back of my shirt. So that's a very good reason to ride. Today we're riding for my boyfriend Ben, who died at Christmas. And so there's plenty of us that all got together and we've raised money, we've raised over 4,000 pounds so far. So it's an absolutely amazing total, so that's going to be a carrier solution. Good morning and welcome to the Nello 2019.
from Tiverton. Um, lovely to see our lovely bunch of cyclists as always. Uh, this is of course where the route splits. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for taking part. Have a great day and um, cheers. The 20th. There were only 80 of us, I believe, uh, set off and much smaller uh, pit stops, but great camaraderie. Uh, actually, it rained twice, but brilliant, brilliant day. I'm riding for a friend uh, who died about five, six years ago uh, for leukemia. Um, I'm just out here with another mate. Uh, just really fantastic day, um, just raising a load of money um, and just enjoying the weather as well. Really good day for it. It's a bit warm, but it's really lovely. Really enjoyed that first bit. Uh, there's a whole gang of us uh, riding today. Uh, we're the Credit and Breeze riders, and we ride every Sunday morning. Really enjoying it. Great day out. It's a local ride, and it's a good course. The reason why um, we're uh, providing Glenn and I is that my nan died of cancer recently, so um, and we've also had one of our friends lose his wife of cancer this year. I've been doing this with my dad for about four or five years and this is the first year actually that my dad has been able to join me. Not, not for any bad reason, he's on holiday, uh, but we just really enjoy it and obviously it's nice to do it with friends and raise money for balls. This is the first time I've ever done the Nello actually, so I'm really excited. Um, first time we're doing 55 miles as well. Um, it's all for a good cause for force and everything, so like really looking forward to it. Just want to press on and get to the next, the next station now. So yeah, really good, really enjoying it. This is about the fifth one I've done and it's a good event good course and it's for basics for good cause. It's really good, yeah. lots of different people, yeah. lots of yeah. friendly, yeah. lots of different levels of cyclists, it's very organised, lovely marshals out there cheering you on. Benefited from the amazing services of force over the last 12 months. Oh, very nice. And, uh, yeah, under uh, the outfit. 52 year, old, 52 year old man on a 22 year old bike, and this was D Rigger back 22 years ago. Wow, wow. Bora and the bike. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go.
Hold on. Yes, it's very important, apparently. <laughs> those people have suffered. That's what I keep saying and I sing sex bomb to myself. Brilliant. Keep it up. See you, see you at the top. Oh dear. You can't bet that the highlight's real. Not bad, thank you. That's unfair. Lovely day, hadn't started raining yet, uh, and just needed a rest. Can you ride my bike home and I'm going to go on the motorbike? <laughs> now, great day, lovely weather, not too sunny, so uh, really good, yeah. Brilliant. Any particular reason you're riding this one? Uh, I've done it before, done it three or four times before. Really good ride, fantastic food at the feed stations, every 20 miles is just a wonderful uh, uh, limit to uh, test yourself against every 20 miles that's so really good so well organized so fantastic ride and for a good cause and for a great cause of course yeah
going brilliantly. So we're up at Comus Gate. Uh, we have had hundreds of people, hundreds of cyclists coming through our doors, thoroughly enjoying themselves. We've been rushed off our feet, lots of teas and coffees going. Everyone's really enjoying all the food. The cake is amazing. Um, everyone's having a fantastic time. It's a great day. And um, if you haven't done it, I really recommend it. Do it next year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tough up the hills, easier down the hills. <laughs> it's nice to be up on Exmoor, so we've done it, we've got here. So, um, yeah, no, we're doing all right. I think that it is a big leap, isn't it, from the 55 up to the 100. So, uh, hopefully, it'll be, it'll be worth it in the end. When we have done our 100, we are going to go and collect a lot of money off people to make sure that they realise the effort <laughs> we put in for this lovely charity. You are such a good charity. The, the last part's been very tough. Um, but yeah, I did it last year, enjoyed it last year, so I did it again this year. I think it's going all right. That was a hard climb. Yeah, it's great fun though. I dare say it's been enjoyable so far. <laughs> but I don't want to speak too soon. We've only got to the second stage, so who knows what's left in store. I actually don't know what's left in store, so that can be quite interesting. Right. So here we are in South Moulton, a new location for the honey farm. Um, we've got a lot more space, it's easy for people to find. Um, we've got running water and running electricity, it's sheer luxury. Loads of space to put our gazebo up and our van and everything. No one's got lost, everyone's found it and everyone's as happy and well fed as usual. And that's just to help us. <laughs> we entered with friends probably about 10 years ago and we've done it ever since so it's one of kind of our annual ride and we'd be a bit lost without it if we didn't do it every year. The first time I've done it and I can honestly say it's the best sportive or charity ride I've ever done. I think the organisation second to none. Um, you can see how many people are taking part. It's a really popular ride and I'm, yeah, I'm pleased I've come and I'm, I'll come back again. Really positive attitude. Everyone's very happy so I'm pleased to be involved. Um, I'm a bit stiff, but uh, I think there's a wave of enthusiasm that's going to get me through. I worked here for a year, a while ago, and um, a lot of my patients were involved with uh, FORCE, so I was um, very keen to try and support the charity. The food's lovely again, as per every year, and looking forward to doing it again next year already.
has been pretty busy. I think we had a bit more bustle than we did last year. <laughs> Weather's been perfect for the cyclists. I think a lot of them have felt that that's been a bonus for them. Um, usual, people are so appreciative, love the stops, love what we do, but we love what they do, so it's gone really well. My mum had cancer and died a number of years ago, so I'm doing it to raise money for um, for cancer and for the, for the charity as much as I can. I do try to do a bit for charity all the time, and uh, obviously cancer is a big part of everybody's life. We all know somebody who's uh, gone from it. We've known them for since it started, I think, um, and it's just gone from you know good to to great as a, as a charity. And uh, I did the 55 mile a few years ago, and I thought I've got to get 100 in before before I get too past it. So that's why I'm here. But it's a, a, a great charity, great cause, great event. You know, fantastic event. Couldn't beat it. One of the guys passed away, and uh, they're doing a group like together to remember him by. So uh, that's why they were together. Like I did the a challenge of it. You up for three peaks. Uh, on Friday, and my partner Noma drove me down here yesterday, and we're doing the under mile mellow today to try and raise as much as I can. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's sponsored me in doing what I've done. Um, managed to raise around about 16, 1700 pounds at the moment. Hopefully, maybe a bit more after today. The wonderful thing is, I have personally cured the cancer. <laughs> My wife has been in both walls with a fantastic job. She's a survivor too. <laughs> oh, you're doing a great job. How are you guys? Thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, alright. I'm enjoying the weather now. <laughs> All right for water. Good. Keep going. Well done. Good. Cheers, guys. It started years ago when my husband was taking part in the ride, and he suggested that this might be an opportune spot. You know, the last push, just to have a water station because that day it was particularly hot. So. I've done it most years from then, and people seem to appreciate it. Brilliant. First cycle ever. Really good. Really good. <laughs> and good atmosphere. Yeah, everything's amazing. The food's amazing. The people are amazing. The, the support is amazing. amazing. The yeah, is incredible. <laughs> it's the best cycle in the whole world. It's just brilliant. It was my first time doing the Nello and it was fantastic. It was a bit of a headwind, I did the 100 um, and I've done it for many reasons. A dear friend of ours passed away only yesterday uh, from cancer and so this is, this is for him, this is for Clive and our other friend Chris as well who recently passed. Um, brilliantly organised, thank you very much to Force for a fantastic event and the sun eventually came out uh, and I'm looking forward to a beer. I've just enjoyed it so much, the support, the charity, I've just had a fantastic day and the volunteers have been brilliant, I've absolutely loved it. Fantastic event, I'm very impressed with it, it's uh, eight times I've done it now I think, so it's, yeah, gets better every year. The food stops were great, 
It's the hills that weren't so great. Fantastic uh, organisation, brilliant. Uh, first time here, actually, uh, but we'll return, definitely. Great, great food, got us through to the end of the hundred. Really, really tops. <laughs> it's all about the food. It was brilliant, and the signage was fantastic, and everyone, the camaraderie was great. And uh, I can't believe that I've done it. We've been involved with FORCE for, well this is our third year, um, providing medical cover, paramedics and ambulances um, for the uh, Nella ride and the other events during the year. Um, it's a fantastic event, we're really, really pleased to be in it, um, involved with it and we always have more staff wanting to work this event than, than we have places for. Um, and uh, we just think it's fantastic to be involved with an event, uh, particularly one that attracts uh, so many um, so many riders um, and is such a, a, a good fundraising event for the organisation. Our role, I suppose today, has been in a sort of tech, sort of tech support format really. So uh, fixing punches, hopefully tweaking people's gears, um, any minor mechanicals they might have had on the route, um, as well as sampling the cake and making sure that the coffee tastes okay um, and actually it's been a really good atmosphere it's been lovely today's been the most extraordinary day to be part of well, 1600 people doing the Nello but but here, the, about 20 or so here for Ben his, his friends from university, from work, uh, family friends of ours, their partners and their friends, and just what an extraordinary team they've been coming around 100 miles. Some have done the 55 because of time constraint, but I'm just so proud of them all. And uh, they, we've been able to raise a fantastic amount of money for Force. Delighted to do that. You know, ben died just, gosh, only six months ago, but Force was really important in his life in his last few days and he would have been so proud of this. He would have been so proud of all that everyone's been able to do today. Yeah. Thanks ever so much for taking part in the Nello 2019. It's been an absolutely brilliant day again. The sun has shone for us. You have peddled those miles. You have eaten all that food. And your thanks and gratitude that you've come back with has been extremely appreciated. Force really prides itself on putting on this ride. And the founders of the ride, Mark, Kim Millen, they cannot thank you enough for everything you do and the money you're raising. We think we're on target to raise the £100,000 today, which means you will have raised over a million pounds for this bike ride over 20 years, which is something to be really really proud of. Bike Shed have had a fantastic time out on the course, the ambulance crew have been out there serving you and your feedback has just been phenomenal. Thank you so much for coming, thank you for making the Nello part of your life, for making force something that you believe in and want to raise money for. You lot rock, we love you, we'll see you next year. Thanks, bye!